Welcome, and we will officially begin with the opening ceremony. I would like to thank the authorities who are already on stage. Marcelo Torres, president of APRECID. Big applause for him, please. We would also like to thank Jorge Macri, chief of government of the city of Buenos Aires, mayor of Buenos Aires. Welcome. Big applause for Sergio Iraeta, Secretary of Agriculture, Livestock and Fisheries of Argentina. And also Paola Diaz, big applause for her, Assistant Director of APRECID. Welcome to the 32nd edition of APRECID, Nueva Amarok edition with the strength of Expo Agro. This is the first time that APRECID has taken place in La Rural, in the city of Buenos Aires, and it will take place between today and uh, midday on Friday. This year, the lemma is everything is connected. This Congress is an invitation to learn about connection in all its ways. To formally open this Congress, we will now sing the national anthem with the orchestra of the police force of the city of Buenos Aires.
Le agradecemos a la orquesta de la banda de la policía de la ciudad. Thank you very much to the uh, police band for its national and international relevance. We would like to thank the presence of producers, business people, media, national, provincial, and municipal authorities. We thank the presence of Mr. Juan Cruz Molina Hafford, president of INTA, Ratan Lal, World Food Prize winner, Manuel Otero, Inter-American Institute for Cooperation Agriculture Director, uh, Daniel Dijar, President of Banco Nación. Our acknowledgement to Juan Cuadromo, President of Banco Provincia de Buenos Aires. We also thank the presence of Jose Aranda, Director of Clarín Group. Thank you for the presence, for his presence to Alejandro Saguier, Director of La Nación Newspaper board members of Exponenciar and Salomone, president of CONICET. Thank you very much. Let's greet them with a warm round of applause. Y ahora los invitamos a disfrutar juntos. And now we invite you to enjoy the opening video that is a summary of this great meeting. La naturaleza. La producción. Nature Production. Lo local. Local products. Lo global. Global events. Los alimentos. Food. Fibers. La energía. Las personas. Las tecnologías. Everything is connected, and we want you to be part of this. Welcome to the 32nd Apreseed Congress, Nueva Edición Nueva Amarok, with the strength of Expo Agro. It will be a great Congress that is just beginning, Apreseed 2024, and in this event, that is so important for our institution. With deep respect and admiration, we would like to pay tribute to those who are not with us today, but whose legacy and contributions have left a remarkable brand in our uh, people. If this is passion for progress, to each and every one of them, our eternal gratitude. In memoriam, Mariano Williams, partner of the Juan Manuel Fangio uh, branch, Danilo Garay, um, agricultural journalist, Carlos Agetoni, president of the Argentine Agrarian Federation. Let's give them a strong round of applause. Next, we will invite the president of APRECID, Marcelo Torres, for his welcoming remarks. Thank you. Finally, here we are. It's been a long way to get here to celebrate the Congress in Buenos Aires. It's a big 
and stressful challenge. Uh, it's been stressful because it is a challenge, right? But we are here very happy. Uh, until it starts, you are very anxious, right? But so when uh, the plane takes off and we see the number of people, the youth, we f it fills us all with pride. Uh, welcome all to this 32nd Congress, whose motto is Everything is Connected. From the beginning, we believe in the interactive building of networks, networks that broaden themselves to uh, tackle ever more global challenges. There's no doubt from our institution and our country, we can be leaders of an, a sustainable, modern, and dynamic agricultural production with a specific feature and successful that producers tracked innovation and changes. M developing these networks and these innovation networks along with sciences and technologies. Thanks everyone for making it possible to our great team, partners and staff members, uh, the support the uh, companies. Thank you, Volkswagen Amarok, for being the main sponsor of this event, and on, his, on their behalf to all the supporting companies. Thank you to over 140 companies and institutions that support us in their in our innovation. As a result, they, we are all here in this Congress today. Thank you to all APRECEED members, Congress team and all our staff. And on behalf of all of us and our general manager um, who has led the way having to uh, cater for um, hospitality and hospitality management. Uh, thank you, Exponenciar, for helping us continue building networks to continue evolving and advancing our Congress. Special thank you to the to Martin uh, Schwarzman for your trust and on your uh, on your behalf to the whole Exponential team. Thank you for the support to this Congress, to Mayor Jorge Macri and the national, municipal and local authorities uh, that are here today, lecturers and all attendees. Special thank you to the ICA, the Inter-American Institute for Cooperation on Agriculture for helping develop high quality content and we are here today together thanks to a sustainable connection. Every time uh, this is getting deeper thanks to uh, our the director Manuel Otero and the whole staff team. Thank you to INTA, CONICET and the University of local university and um, international universities such as Tennessee, uh, etc. And uh, thank you for collaborating with the content of this Congress and uh, inviting us to this special event. Thank you to CAPAS, the American Confederation for Sustainable Agriculture, um, with the featured by the uh, Conservation Agriculture from Paraguay, uh, Uruguay, Argentina. Continue building a regional network that help us cater for productive systems in our region. As a reverend for sustainable production with a uh, with the lead of our producers with a scientific base. Welcome to the Congress, producer, contractors, advisors, and those who wear many, many hats, most of us. Uh, welcome to the academia and representatives from other institutions with whom we uh, interact, we share our agenda. I mean, all the people present here today. We are here in a new vision of a Congreso Apreside that is connected to, con that is related to connection, connecting productivity with regeneration, uh, the field with the city, local to global, present and future. In short, connecting ourselves. Apreside is past, present, and future. Apreside is the path uh, taken and its contribution to agriculture. It's a producer drawing innovation from the field. Along with science and technology, 
is network work, uh, adapting no-till farming and an evolution side with the um, crop rotation and service crops, and the integrated uh, sectors to have uh, long-lasting fields. Apresid is present and a productive reality, and feed on the ground, on the soil, where we continue evolving. And a good part of the content we were going to see today is originated in uh, is focusing on the current problems. All of this, uh, thanks to more than 40 regional groups that exchange knowledge and uh, try out new crops, new technologies, and integrated models, opening their gates to show all of this, interacting with all the members of community, carrying the message of innovation, um, evergreen to different areas, semi-arid, tropical, different areas. And that's hard because it's not the same to keep all the uh, the field green to a semi-arid area or Patagonia, Salta. Our country is so rich, so diverse, that it's important that many producers can be able to land these different types of productive models. Um, all these uh, producers have uh, worked on research and development. Um, Sixteen different branches uh, are experimental uh, scenarios real uh, production uh, areas where we work on the optimization of crops, um, weed management, microbiology of soils, um, irrigation production in center Cuyo, Patagonia, recuperation of arid areas, um, uh, salty soils, um, uh, water table management, uh, uh, added value impact on so of the social social impact on sus, uh, productive impact etc this is the A dna of apreseed and today we turn 15 uninterrupted years of production and work it is present in two thematic themes um, late may soy Soybean in the Northwest, um, biological inputs, uh, carbon dynamic, soil health, productive system. Um, it's present in our work in the uh, in tech in the management of weeds, infections with service, mapping, alert systems, new resistance to generate useful tools for the producer and thus make these processes more efficient. For example, today the um, uh, leaf hopper mapping is one of the actions. We have developed interaction exchange with other networks, evaluating behaviors of different uh, corn stunt disease um, features, uh, capture and sequestration of carbon management, uh, uh, and technologies such as simulation, georeferencing of our data, connecting new digital technologies such as AI with the challenges of the farmer. The promotion of projects um, of sustainable products and ecosystemic products, certification and traceability of raw materials. This knowledge is shared not only nationally but worldwide. Apresid is an association by producers that for over 30 years we have worked on the field to worked and developed with the science and knowledge and technologies and solutions to the challenges we encounter in each region and each reality. But as in any mission that has um, sustainability at its core, we cannot focus just on the immediate, but have a long-term beacon to continue thinking on the challenges to come. That's why we have Prospectiva Apresid, Apresid Perspective, that focuses on exactly that, that organizes this Congress where we debate the challenges of the farming sector of tomorrow. Thank you to Paola Diaz, Caro Mailer, uh, Rodrigo Rosso, the manager. Uh, along with the Congress team, they organize this Congress. That's why Apresid is future. 
developing a prospective outlook on the systems and how to tackle the challenge of producing 40 percent more food for 2050, uh, plus generating biomass for renewable energy with a lesser environmental impact. In this huge challenge of humanity, and in our country, we have a lot to say in this path taken in our no-till system, livestock um, on feedlot, uh, on graceland uh, feed, uh, with all the different members of the supply food supply chain. We are working on carbon, measuring carbon gap on the soil, carbon foot print and identification of practices to minimize it. We are launching the latest version of the protocol to certify practices and sustainable products in uh, agriculture, uh, leading projects that aims at integrating sustainable supply chain, thinking of the outreach to the consumer with com reliable uh, indicators of triple impact such as biodiversity, a carbon balance, hydric footprint, and uh, soils. The the world has changed, and we cannot tackle 21st century challenges with the tools of the 20th century. On the other hand, in a global context where science uh, showed to be the way out to pandemic and the invasion of Russia into Ukraine showed us the frailty of um, the supply and demand, uh, food and energy, and how to continue this uh, move closer to the scientific side, and that is an opportunity. In this situation, the uh, regenerative cult, uh, agriculture is regains importance, and we can understand the favorable and restrictive factors for its implementation. It is crucial to define what it means. What is important is to define its objectives and accordingly select the strategies and the techniques necessary to and the processes to reach with a comprehensive perspective. Besides, solutions are not universal, so it depends on each context. Therefore, we lean into definition based on results, keeping an open mind on processes that can lead to reach these objects objectives, avoiding fundamentalist perspectives. All these reflections um, hand in hand with Fernando Andrade, the scientific perspective, and Rodolfo Gil, the academic um, professor of the Aprender Institute that um, wants to provide a holistic outlook to decision makers in agriculture. We have to see how we can contribute from the, this community to produce more, add value, and develop federally our country, the different territories, and the people with the challenge of doing so in a country that has been uh, decoupled between personal development, entrepreneurial activity, and productive activity, and all this decoupling with very high levels, poverty levels. The more radical um, motto say no fisheries, no mining, no agricultural production, no oil production, no uh, paper mills, and what do we live on then? We have to do all that, but we have to do it well. We should and must be global leaders in the offer of food, fiber, and energy with a low footprint and in the implementation of these productive models and in the knowledge as to how we should develop an innovation network, including the producer as protagonist. However, we are aware of current problems, the tax pressure, the lack of strate strategic outlook. However, there's hope in the path taken and the need to continue giving concrete signs to release the potential of the farming sector. All this work will be seen in the different activities throughout these days um, of these programs that work throughout the year. This Congress shall seek to connect these local challenges 
uh, that the producer can see in the field at a global scale and in a world that is uh, very far from the global perspective, that is um, imbued with a mean or uh, um, selfish look. But the science vouches for us. To achieve this connection and achieve the opportunities Argentina has in the global scene, we have to end for once and for all with false dichotomies uh, between productivity and regeneration, between technological and natural, as if we couldn't be able to maximize the productivity of crops, um, dairy products, and biomass that at the same time generate resources and give um, resources to the ecosystem. This um, it's not only not a dichotomy, but our producers are already doing so, using the state-of-the-art technology to achieve uh, great yields and at the same time be water efficient, regenerate soil health and ca um, capture carbon and reduce emission, in enhance biodiversity and many other ecosystem services. All of this is connected. <laughs> La falsa dicotomía. This false di di uh, dichotomy between the rural and the urban, the oral milieu uh, suffering a structural deficit in roads, connectivity, railways, and citizens who come to the big cities uh, unaware of where food comes from and being suspicious about it. But the urban area is a tension, urban um, countryside air. But we have to put science in this area, generate circulation area, um, biomass, where we could turn urban waste, where we have it uh, in an open uh, air, and transform it into biofertilizer. Recycle food, the food bank has does a great job um, making the most of food waste, a country that needs food, primary products and um, add value. If there is uh, genetics with uh, biotechnology, use of predictive models, uh, application technology, uh, input technology, there is added value there, but we have to continue adding value. We need to grow. Argentina needs to generate. So we have to continue adding value. And there's a, there are lots of tools that are very useful for that purpose. These days, we have heard of bioeconomy as something abstract. But bioeconomy is by sustainable biofuels uh, for aviation, something that is going to be mandatory in 2025 to uh, enter Europe. So we have to orient uh, value chains. We have to think how to focus in order to seize this opportunity. All of this is connected, global or local. Of course, we have to um, pay attention to our problems, but we also have to see our gigantic opportunity at global levels, not only to uh, import food, energy of uh, low carbon footprints, but to have, um, but to export uh, direct cedars knowledge how to um, integrate models. We know how to do this. Um, no till cedars, knowledge technology, production of fiber, food, and energy of low carbon footprint. Everything is connected. We have to think short term or long term. Short term is recurrent. We are always stagnant in the same problems. Unfortunately, they're still there. That's why we have to take care of them. We have we have problems, you know, with the fiscal pressure, the um, lagging of the exchange rate. But at the same time, we have to capture the long-term opportunities we have in this world that needs 40 percent more food, and that crops and biomass be a um, source of energy. That's a big challenge ahead that we have to harness. Climate change is a fact. Climate change is not a fact. Well, let's discuss with the scientific base. Is anthropogenic in its origin or not? Let's discuss 
discuss this with a scientific base, but what's undeniable is the first world consumer is more and more interested in learning about the environmental or the carbon footprint of what they consume because there is a big opportunity. We have to be capable of seizing this opportunity. The path to solve all these problems is connection, which is the theme of this Congress. Good quality conversations. Let's uh, get away from the dichotomic uh, perspective. We have to think short term and long term, the local and the global perspective. We have to raise the bar in the level of our conversations. I think we are going to achieve this in this Congress, and I hope we can um, infect this spirit into others. I, and I want to highlight the number of young people in this Congress. This is uh, unique of our country. Young generations do not embrace this activity, this beautiful activity, which is farming. They focus on other activities. We have young people, because we speak of technology sustainability, we help, we talk about different interesting topics. We, this is what this Congress is about. Good quality conversations, collaborative networks that are unique in Argentina, contractors working with advisors and young people, and they are farming as well. So meeting here and having these conversations is what this Congress is about. We have seen with the people from an Exponencial and Apresid, we have taken care of every detail. Enjoy the Congress. We have uh, paid attention to a lot of stuff. Thank you very much. Everything is connected. Thank you. And thank, go ahead. thank you to my parents uh, and my family who is here today. Big round of applause for Marcelo Torres, president of APRECID. And speaking of everything being connected, we would like to uh, say hi to the people who are following us online on congreso.apresid.org and to those who join us in person. And uh, please uh, remember to silence your phones uh, before we proceed. Now we would like to invite Sergio Iraeta, the Secretary of Agriculture, Livestock and Fisheries of Argentina. Good morning to everyone here. Thank you very much for the invitation to this 32nd Upper Seat Congress. For me, it is an honor to be here with all of you in this opening ceremony in this classic event of agriculture. These spaces are essential to take stock and uh, reflect upon what the future holds for all of us. This is essential for agriculture to be placed at the forefront of agricultural advances in the world. As a son, a grandson, and a great-grandson of farmers, I have learned from the natural cycles of agriculture what the uh, motto of this Congress suggests. Everything is connected. I didn't study this with him, but I'm going to say it several times. from plowing with horses to the latest state-of-the-art precision agriculture, from the magical slash religious application or uh, admiration of what we did to the conferences with experts that are participating in this Congress, from the position of Argentina when the ideas of freedom were uh, confronted, and from the earth to the food and passing through the intellectual and physical work of the man on soil and the influence of the forces of heaven, everything is connected. The national government and society at large are making a historical effort to eliminate the fiscal deficit, reduce inflation, and reach a single exchange rate. A macroeconomy that is ordered is the solid basis 
to reduce the distorting, uh, distortion created taxes that have affected investment and production for so long. We must be and we must rise to the challenge. And I have no doubt that you will all rise to this challenge with the patience that characterizes those who are used to respecting the natural cycles. As we know, most of Argentinians are pushing through to uh, lift Argentina from the shades. And now this is all making sense. Thanks to the Secretariat of Agriculture, Fisheries, and livestock, we have proposed to leave behind semantic discussions and to focus on action, action that embraces technology and innovation as a factor for development, and that we all be present in the countryside near the farmers. The farmers are essential for the productive and competitive system in Argentina. We will work to enhance this and to create the conditions and contribute to making Argentina once again a worldwide leader in the reliable provision of food, energy, and agro-industrial products with high value added. We have a very professional team who is fully committed and we work every day on the following strategic topics, opening markets, increasing exports in agro-industrial chains, diversifying products and destinations, simplifying and de-bureaucratizing systems, and uh, enforcing uh, new resolutions to make the life of producers easier in order to enhance competitiveness. We must contribute to the proper function of internal and export markets with control systems that are agile and efficient, developing and innovating and placing biotechnological progress as a basis for the improvement of our productivity. Finally, to differentiate our production systems by promoting them in the face of the world, enforcing traceability and identifying their differential attributes. All of this will translate into concrete actions. And under this strategy, we have eliminated import prohibitions for meat, balanced volumes, and we have worked to reestablish open markets and open new destinations for exports. We have simplified uh, the presentations of CISA and RUCA, and many regulations that were obsolete from SENASA have been eliminated, other obstacles for herbicides, etc. And we approved two GMOs for industrial use. We created an emergency committee for technical security with INTA and INASE because of the, of the uh, Leaf hopper problem, and we have we are controlling, and we have eliminated having to sign up to RUCA when you commercialize grains or byproducts. We have reduced the right to export for animal protein, and we have eliminated the duties for the dairy and meat industries. The list goes on. And we have focused on managing the present by embracing innovation and looking into the future. Ideas, actions, and results, all is connected. Everything is connected. I would like to invite you to work together. The Secretariat of Agriculture, Livestock and Fisheries has opened doors to listen to you and to receive your proposals on how to de-bureaucratize the process and improve the productive management of our country. I invite you as well to look for consensus in the different productive chains so that the so-called public-private interaction can really become an efficient process. In these times of profound changes for Argentina and the rural sector, we have a joint mission, growing freedom seeds in order to harvest the results of well-being and development for present and future generations. This is a historical moment. It is time to help each other. The president and his economic team, with lots of courage, are moving forward with a concrete roadmap. Finally, I would like to thank the students, the farmers, the technical experts, engineers, researchers, and agro-industrial entrepreneurs who are participating or exposing in this Congress for helping us understand that everything is connected. And you must know that in this secretariat that I am leading for the time being, 
you have my full commitment to write together the future of agriculture, which will be no other than the future of our beloved homeland. All together, we are lifting Argentina from the, from the shadows. Thank you. Thank you for your presence, Mr. Iraeta, Secretary of Agriculture, Livestock and Fisheries of Argentina. We will now hear some opening remarks from Jorge Macri, mayor of the city of Buenos Aires. Good morning, good afternoon. First of all, hello everyone and thank you for inviting me to share this opening ceremony with all of you. Marcelo and Sergio were worried about uh, addressing the audience. Marcelo gave a TED talk. You're all, you know, you all did so well, Sergio, too. So thank you and congratulations. For me, being here is being in a space where I feel comfortable and I feel at home. I don't have a grandfather who was a rural worker, but in Tandil we've always enjoyed the pleasure of sleeping in a hut in the middle of the countryside and waking up in the early morning when an animal decided to, you know, come and pay a visit or washing your face uh, and your hands very quickly because of the manual pump that you had to use. That water was definitely cold. So uh, for me, being here is a pleasure. Everything is indeed connected, and our stories are connected. Probably the most relevant thing that I have to say is that the city and the countryside are connected. This false dichotomy that has been installed lately, this gap that was built or developed between the countryside and the city is as ridiculous as it is false. It was part of a narrative that some people embraced, uh, obviously, ironically, yes, this, is, this was no good narrative because, in a way, it covered up interests that uh, were a bit obtuse. But we are profoundly connected and united. I would like to thank Exponenciar, La Nación, and Clarín, because a few years ago, they promoted a meeting that I had with Marcelo, with Paola, and the entire team of APRESID. And we started to envision this first Congress in the city of Buenos Aires. I was a minister at the time. I wasn't mayor. And I was promoting the initiative to leave their comfort zone, which has always taken place in Rosario, and come to the city, because I was convinced that this was important that this could present a challenge, undoubtedly, and help bring uh, this, uh, these stakeholders together and bring the countryside and the city together as well. So I would like to thank you for your courage, because you took that step. And congratulations, because there's a record number of participants, a high number, high percentage of young people. You know, they they get off the subway, they're drinking their mate, and, you know, they're seeing how to cross the, the red light. So thank you. Thank you for coming to our city, because that's what it's about as well. Hosting this event in our city means a great deal to us, not only because of the event in itself, but because of its regional and international projection. The immense potential that we can see in this place fills us with enthusiasm. We are here to further strengthen the historical tie that binds us together. And this tie has been built based on the most valuable element of all, which is our human capital. Many kids from the provinces come to the city to study agricultural sciences or other related disciplines, and then they go back to their cities, to their hometowns, and they bring with them something as important as, in, as it is in immense, which is knowledge. But the city is not just a place where they come to study or they come to live or where we consume what the countryside produces. Today, the city is much more than that. 
Today, four out of 10 ag techs in Argentina are established here in the city of Buenos Aires. And that is no coincidence. Our stand of the city of Buenos Aires, as you can see outside, really uh, appreciates what we are doing in these terms. This positions us as an open city with constant developments, but it also challenges us to maintain a very clear roadmap as a government, accompanying private companies and establishing clear rules of the game, attracting investments and promoting a display of the unleashed potential that exists in each enterprise. Mutual cooperation, exchange, and networking opens us a horizon that presents an endless number of opportunities. I am here to invite you to continue going down this road, countryside and city, all moving in the same direction. But rest assured, we understand what the productive process is like, and it is very clear for us that there is no country, there is no Argentina, there is no homeland that can be successful without you, without the countryside, and without agro-industries. I would also like to thank you, because if I could turn back time, Argentina, as you know, is very proud to host many unicorns. A unicorn is a company that was able to transform knowledge and innovation into a lot of added value and appreciate and each one of those groups which continue to work should be considered our first, very first unicorn because no-till farming has really transformed the perspective on how to add more value in the world. So maybe we can invent some title, the first unicorn, maybe. Why not? You know this better than anyone. You face difficulties every day that challenge your capacity to adapt. Like was mentioned before, extreme weather events, war conflicts, and changes that are uh, that exist in geopolitics throughout the world takes take us from droughts to floods and uh, endanger all of the productive processes the quality of seas the conservation of soils reducing carbon emissions and green uh, processes are part of a global agenda that is looking towards a sustainable future. And in this context, the relevance of agro-industries continues to be essential. Two out of three dollars that enter the country comes from these exports, and the sector represents 20 percent of the GDP in Argentina and employs one of five workers in the private sector. The challenge of those of us who are in government is to continue managing with austerity and efficiency, protecting the resources, and questioning everything that was done in the past. What worked at some point in time may not work anymore. There is no country living off only from what they produce. No one country can produce everything, so we must focus on value-added uh, products. Some products become part of a more valuable product that is later exported. That's where we want to head, because we are convinced that knowledge and innovation are part of what we have to offer. They are this valuable component so that the partnership between the countryside and the city can be strengthened and feed back one to the other. Recently, we signed a framework agreement of mutual collaboration with the Rural Society of Argentina to promote together those companies that innovate and promote the economy of knowledge in the countryside and particularly ag techs. Of course, we invite all of the researchers and innovators that uh, you do as APRECID and all of the associated groups to promote that knowledge development. Ag techs are an ecosystem that are constantly growing and that offer the development of agrobiotechnology applied to the food industry, genetics, and the productivity of crops. M management platforms for data, which is essential today for the activity to be sustainable and efficient. We want them to come and settle in the city so that it is no longer four out of 10, but any company that wants to come. 
and we have a place to receive them. We know how to accompany them. In the innovation park right nearby, we created a hub for innovators, a co-working space with labs for science and technology, biotechnology labs and for prototypes and information and communication technologies. In that space, many startups, startups are taking their first steps with the support of specialists. This is the case, for example, of Laurus, which is present in the stand of the city in this exhibition, offering urban culture and uh, a way to provide food that are hyper-local, fresh and affordable for all people living in cities. The demand of food requires more technology and uh, engineering that is applied properly. This opens up almost endless possibilities to develop and position at a global level, not only for the production of raw materials, but also for the value added that knowledge means, as well as innovation. At a local level, we are decided to promote and support. We know very well that we need to do more. The potential of this Congress reflects the huge opportunity that this presents in the future, but also for the present. And once again, the countryside city partnership and the synergy between public and private are the key for this road forward that we need to uh, visit together. Allow me to just share a piece of data. I do not want to overlook this because it does present a huge challenge as a government. 42% of the products that are exported from our port are goods from the agro-industrial sector. Yes, from the port of the city, one would think that the sector is not so present in our port in the city, but it is. And also goods that are exported from the port of Buenos Aires. However, like you know, the city does not manage and has no incidence in their port. And this is not very common. We are a city that can say nothing about what happens in their port. So we are in conversations with the national government to perfect and to complete our autonomy so that the port becomes the port of Buenos Aires. We are also moving forward with the request of establishing a free trade zone. Uh, we are the only jurisdiction that does not have one and that will allow companies to work more freely and which will become an incentive for local activities and commercial activities as well. They got mixed up. Pino has a wonderful system. I don't know if you've seen it. All the speeches are bound together, and each um, sheet of paper has a clip uh, so that they can turn over the pages more quickly. Uh, I, we couldn't get there with my team, but we're going to. So everything is connected. And innovation is sometimes very specific. Once again, and to finish my participation, to promote the growth of the farming sector and smallholders, we are fostering the creation of a um, food concentrating market in the former um, livestock market in Liniers, as many big cities in the world has. Uh, we spoke of the value given to the good quality pro uh, product with a clear footprint traceable products. The city of Buenos Aires is probably the most demanding market from the production point of view and the marketing of uh, niche food products. So we want to have our own uh, concentrative uh, market. And thus, we would give a new uh, promotion to the southern area of the city, which is one of our priorities. In this part of the city, especially, but in the whole of the city, we are always going to seek for partners who want to invest, uh, create jobs, and contribute to the development agenda we are committed to. Next to Banco Ciudad, we are beginning to uh, work on financing line for the ag tech sector and food sector, thinking on how to support those investments that are more sustainable and offer sustainable solutions. As mayor of the city of Buenos Aires, my um, duty is to give certainties 
you can count on my commitment and my team. The development ministry and other reference and experts such as Rolando Sarkis are part of this team that is at your disposal to work together. This city is an ally of the uh, countryside and innovation. The technology that is a, uh, a representation in our country has a place here in this city. There is no successful country without the farming industry. I'm convinced that this success uh, is this way. Countryside and city together. Thank you and thank you for supporting Argentina. And let me reiterate what I said the other day. Each and every one of you, every day, generating jobs and challenging yourselves are the true patriots that are defending this country. Thank you very much. We thank the presence and the opening remarks of uh, Mr. Jorge Macri, mayor of the city of Buenos Aires. And next, with this act, we invite uh, the authorities to leave the stage, and uh, we renew our trust on the Secretary of uh, Livestock, Agriculture, and Fisheries, and thank the mayor of the city of Buenos Aires. Next, we receive with a warm round of applause uh, Paola Diaz, the director of Prospectiva Apresid, who will give a summary of what will happen in this Congress of Apresid 2024. The No-Till Association, Farmers Association, in this 32nd edition. She's Paola Diaz, director of the Prospective Program Apresid, those who organize the, pro the Congress every year. Good morning, everyone. Welcome. Uh, this is my presentation. They present me, they introduce me, but I want to introduce them who are part of the um, billions of microorganisms that live in the soil. I, and it's a, an honor for me to say this in the presence of Dr. Ratan Lal, uh, who gives so much to us. But to take care of the microorganisms on the soil, these fungi, bacteria, uh, worms, um, etc., is to take care of 95% of the food we um, consume we, and to uh, protect soils is the mission of APRECID, the No-Till Farmers Association. Thank you for inviting us, Paula. Here with the guys, we wanted to know what we will see in this Congress this year. We know that there are over 160 lecturers, uh, but uh, I'm a fan. Give me some names. Well, let me tell you before I delve into the content of this Congress that the motto, everything is connected, has been a long process. Um, the Congress team and many partners uh, analyzed that since we were coming to the big city, it was a big challenge. So what would be the motto? What would the Congress be about? So everything is connected, uh, came from the idea of coming to the city and connecting the countryside to the city. And this is what we're going to talk about in this Congress, the connection between the farming of the rural and the urban areas, present and future, uh, preservation and con um, conservation, uh, the most traditional and technological ones. With these, um, with over 250 um, speakers, we have different focuses with eight sub-focuses, such as crop management, agroecology, soil health, soil conservation, biotechnology, and also we are going, I think that Leaf Hopper never thought he was going to be so famous. We are going to speak about that, how to manage that. Uh, we have an, as another focus is a social focus where we have communication and education and public policies. Uh, Santi Wesley is part of that sub-focus. And then we have a big focus on economy. And now to focus with, uh, on names, once again, let me thank you, Dr. Ratam Lal, for your presence, the multi-awarded uh, doctor for his knowledge. 
Uh, but apart from the scientific area, let me share that we're going to have Soledad Pastoruti. She's not coming to sing for us, but to talk about the connection between the countryside and the city, Pato Abondancieri, um, ex uh, football player and uh, now producer, Estanislao Barrak, um, the um, by champion of the Dakar, uh, will also be part. Oh, wow. It's spectacular. I think there's content for all of us. We will be able to learn a bit of everything. And outside the halls, what can we do? Because at this time, I'm a bit hungry. Is there anything to eat? Well, that's key for us. As Marce said, I want to thank the over 150 companies that are um, accompanying us. There are more than 50 organizations that are part of the uh, hall with their stands. Let, I recommend you to go to the Apresit stand because there's a campaign for new members and there's a lot of activity uh, uh, activities with AI and we have VR um, goggles and they will show us how important they are for the conservation of soils. You have um, the different uh, food offer and last but not least the, uh, we invite you to test the new Amarok. Thank you for being the main sponsor and the many activities you can enjoy in the Congress. Wow, what an event, Pao, Marce, and all those people that are behind this. And let, I'm, not, I'm not going to waste any more time. I'm going to prepare my mate because I don't want to miss any talk. And I want to eat, and I want to visit, I want to see so many things. So closing the idea, we want to thank the Exponential team that helped us on this endeavor. What we did the most was to work from uh, with the different teams, partners, staff members, organizations that helped us with the contents to in so that you can enjoy this congress, connect, uh, reflect, but mainly to enjoy. I don't know, Marseille, if there's anything else. There's a lot to be enjoyed and to uh, be done. But uh, um, enjoy the congress. It's been an honor having you here at this opening act and uh, enjoy the Congress that passes very fast.